Киров репорты. Hello, comrades. So, new build. Yes, it's consecrated path of endurance. Since this build won in last fall, we have to try it. I was very skeptical about this build, since sustaining endurance charges is not an easy task. This new transfigured gem requires endurance charges, to bypass 2 seconds cooldown, and also we get 10% more attack damage, and 10% more area of effect, per endurance charge. Potentially, this could be the biggest AoE melee skill, especially with new charms. Do you think you are savage enough? So yeah, we are gonna play Juggernaut. And first question, how to sustain endurance charges. First of all, War Cry Mastery, and Enduring Cry. And, Unflinching Ascendancy, of course. Well, to be honest, I'm not sure yet, we'll see how it goes. I was leveling with Smite, pretty cool starter skill, as always. If you wonder, how we get rid of items, to start from zero, here is the answer. By the way, did you see latest player retention? Best league ever? No jackpot from lab this time, but still, pretty decent starter budget. Our mandatory item, Ralakesh's Impatience, which got huge buff this league. And, as a weapon, we're gonna use the Gemini's Era, pretty cool starter staff. So, let's do more labs, I guess. Well, finally, after three first labs, we got something. And first of all, let's finally buy Consecrated Path of Endurance. Random 6 Link Astral Plate. Belt of Deceiver. Ring, with life, and resistances. This unique gloves, with cool corrupt. And, Devoto's Devotion. So yeah, it feels so bad, and giga clunky. But, let's not give up too early. By the way, we can complete this first quest without actually killing the monsters. I saw it on Reddit like a month ago, but since GGG didn't fix it yet, it's not a bug. Let's finally finish Uber Lab. Well, another small jackpot. First charm, finally, at least some AoE buff. And new jewel, with even more AoE, rage sustain, and physical extra damage, actually not bad. And, yoke of suffering, pretty cool amulet, which gives us free shock, and 10% more damage. So, now it's actually decent. You have to get just Another charm, with even more AoE. Don't 
Even Delve now is good for money making. But Alva is better. That's why I respect my Atlas tree like this. We need new Watcher's Eye, with Anger Penetration mod, pretty cheap, and super effective. Well, Fracturing Orb from Tier 3 map. Now we can upgrade our gear. So yeah, let's start with new weapon. We need eventuality rod, best base for this build. We start with quality. 26% is enough. Then, slam it with deafening essence of contempt, and pray. We need high tier attack speed, and two open prefixes. Well, that's good enough. And finish this craft with Warlord's Exalt Orb. So, we need everything basically, except burning damage. Well, 1 out of 10, so freaking unlucky. So, we go again. One out of 10, again. It actually happened twice. Alright, let's use this one, for now. Lore Weave, pretty useful body armor for this build. Rare Stygian Belt, with life, and resistances. New Rare Gloves, with life, resistances, and accuracy rating. Two Cam Sign, with attack speed corrupt. Abyssus. And, Lion's Roar. So, resistances. Capped. Let's test new gear. So yeah, after around 6 divines investment, this build become playable. And, new lethal pride, right here. Well, at this point, this build is super weak, so, stay tuned. And if you like this video, leave a like, or comment, or both. See ya in the next videos, comrades. LZ is hot.